U.S. home prices have fell for the seventh straight month, guys. It's about to go down. I mean, this isn't a surprise, but we got to really jump into it and kind of figure out exactly what's going on, how this will affect you and how you can take advantage of this. My name is Orlando. Welcome to the channel, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. This is just really par for the course. U.S. home prices fell in January for the seventh straight month, guys. It said U.S. home prices fell for the seventh straight month in a row in January, even as mortgage rates ease, according to the latest S&P CoreLogic case. Now, guys, listen. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't surprise me. This is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. As soon as interest rates take a little, uh, just a little dip, we see an increase of individuals trying to get into homes. So my thought process would be, I would hope the Fed is thinking this too, is every time we drop interest rates, our interest rates go down, or we see the mortgage rates go down, there seems to be an uptick. It seems like, I mean, I'm just, I'm not predicting the future, but it seems like that home buyers are waiting for interest rates to drop. I mean, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> It's being done. It seems like if we get back to, I don't know, 3%, 4% range, it seems like housing prices are gonna shoot through the roof. This is Elon Musk. It seems like every time that happens, we see an uptick. Even though we're seeing prices go down, and this is the seventh straight month that's happened. We've seen that, but also, let's put a period on this, right? Mortgage rates have continued to go up. So it's stopping people from jumping in the market and saying, you know what? I wanna go ahead and buy this overpriced hoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's been stopping people from doing that. And I have seen in my comic section, I was talking to people and everybody has the same thought process. As soon as interest rates go down, I'm gonna jump back in the market. And this is the reason why the Fed needs to continue to push interest rates up. I, that's just my opinion. And then it says here, 2023 began as 22 had ended. The US home price is falling for the seventh straight consecutive month, but still only 15 out of the 20 cities in the index reported month to month declines. Prices in Atlanta and Chicago were flat for December, while Miami, Boston, Cleveland, Charlotte, and North Carolina had slight increases. I wanna pull up the year over year price decline map. Now, we see how it looks right now, right? It has that spotty T-Mobile coverage look right now, right? But let me tell you what, we're starting to see this grow. And this is the reason why I 100% always say this, guys, is that real estate is local. You have to really, really, really pay attention to your local market. Fact. I know you want to look at Miami. I know you want to look at Chicago. I know you want to look at Austin and go, wow, they've had a huge decline. You want to look at Boise or San Francisco. You want to look at these other markets and say, yep, this is exactly what's going to happen in my market. But that would be a mistake. Do not do that, guys. Do not look at another market and think that exact same thing is going to happen to your market. I have heard some people tell me, Orlando, Austin dropped by 15%. When is it going to happen in my market. And I say, well, you're not Austin. Your city isn't built like Austin. Your city doesn't have the same job growth as Austin. Your city doesn't have the same population as Austin. Yeah, damn right. So why would you think that the same exact thing is going to happen in your market? Yes, we do talk about things nationally. That's what we're talking about right now. We're talking about prices that have continued to go down seven straight consecutive months. That's nationally. That's not particularly your city. And, and we just read that some areas are an uptick. Miami, Chicago, even though it may be small, it's still going up, right? It still has an uptick. If we take a look at some of these areas like Las Vegas, Las Vegas is at a 6.19% decline. We take a look at San Jose, that is at a decline of 12.91%. Wow. Now, if we take a look and we can see on the West Coast we have here, it's a lot more red. And then as you move to the east, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Now, a lot of people could say, Orlando, that's just population. There's a lot more people living on the West Coast and they're on the East Coast. That doesn't really matter to me. The trend is what it's looking like 
is the West seems to have a lot more red than it does the closer you get to the East. Now, is that going to change? In my opinion, yes, that is going to change. That We will start to see a little bit more heavy losses when it comes to the East Coast. It only spreads over as... As we start seeing interest rates go up, we still have the Fed, uh, you know, sitting on data, he says. <laughs> <laughs> and once he figures out that, oh, yeah, you know, there's going to be a lot of job losses. Um, uh, yeah, the banking situation isn't solved yet. There's going to be a credit crunch. All of these things will take effect and it will affect the housing market. And I believe that it will spread. And in some areas, we're starting to see that already. In the South, we're starting to see a little bit more red in Texas. We start to see a little bit more red. And then the closer you go up Northeast, right? We're starting to see a little bit more red there. You know, I'm waiting on a little bit more red in Florida. <laughs> Florida here, but Florida is going to get hammered, guys. I, 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 listen, I know this. Florida has issues with taxes. Florida has issues with insurance. Florida has issues just being Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so Florida is going to get hit hard, guys. And when Florida gets hit hard, it's going to tank, guys. Florida is always, when it comes to a recession, when it comes to a downturn, for some odd reason, you know, people get hit really hard in Florida. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. And, and, and real estate is no different. It gets hit hard and all of a sudden, there's a lot of unemployment in Florida. There's a lot of foreclosures in Florida. A lot of condos are given back to the bank. You know, that condo market, which we've already seen increases on insurance. I did a video on that, what, a couple of days ago. And all of that stuff is starting to snowball, guys. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have my detractors. I have, I have individuals that say, Orlando's crazy. Orlando doesn't know what he's talking about. There's not going to be any type of correction, crash. The housing market is going to continue to go up 20, 30. 40% like it did two years ago. Stop the cap. <laughs> I get those emails, especially from the realtors that tell me, Orlando, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. I've been in this industry for six months. <laughs> And I know exactly what's going to happen. I don't know what you're talking about. I've only been a realtor for, for three months. And I've had, you know, 20 on one house I was trying to sell. I had so many requests to see the home. This is never going to stop. And I just think to myself, oh, man. Come on, man. Like, not only do a lot of these guys didn't learn their lesson from the slowdown that's currently happened. They're just revving back up for summer and they just think that it's gonna be, ooh, we about to make some money. Boy, it's gonna be just like it was during the pandemic. This isn't gonna slow down. Great cash, homie. I guess the low demand from interest rates didn't smarten them up and let them think like, oh, wow, we could be going towards a downturn. You know, hey, look, and I know there's someone who's going to type in the comic section and is going to say, Orlando, you're completely wrong. And I understand it. And I'm okay with that. I have no problem someone disagreeing with me on any of my views. But let me just say this. I mean, we have a banking crisis. We have a recession that we've currently in, you know, I know most people say, you know, the government's definition, but let's say we're in it or we're going to be in it. We have tons of people losing their jobs. We've had housing prices go down. Inflation is through the roof, through the roof, right? Right. I mean, the Fed has raised up interest rates the highest it's ever done in a very, very long time. Seriously, stop, stop. We have all these uncertainties that's happening in the economy. And you think, you know, the seven things that I just named, <laughs> and let me just add another one. Ridiculous credit card debt that Americans have right now. I've added up all of these things. Are you telling me? Added up all of those things, there's nothing bad that's gonna happen to our economy. You don't see housing prices going down because, I don't know, people are losing their jobs. You don't see the housing market going down because, I don't know, people have too much credit card debt. That's enough. You don't see the housing market going down because inflation is through the roof. Stop, please. You don't see housing market going down when interest rates are going up to seven, eight, nine percent you don't see the housing market going down when houses are unaffordable oh, I, I i i i you're right i just named all of those things but hey if you don't 
think that the housing market is going to, you know, take a downturn, crash, correction, whatever you want to say. Hey, hey, I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm not trying to change your mind. I promise you, I'm not. I was just, you know, listing out those things, you know, you know. <laughs> At the end of the spectrum, home prices on the West Coast continue to show weakness. Several cities saw home prices in January drop from the year before, with San Francisco being down 7.6%, and it was followed by Seattle 5.1%, uh, and San Diego down 1.4%, Portland down 0.5%. So even though I didn't see this, guys, I didn't see this portion of the article, my assumption was correct that the West seems to have a lot more red, and then the more, the further you go towards the East, the less red you see. You know, so you have a lot of T-Mobile coverage <laughs> in the West, but no, not much over in the East. Uh, but yeah, you know, guys, let me just tell you this. This is the truth. And and I know we, 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 we have fun on this channel and whatnot, but if you are really trying to get a home, I need you to really focus on getting all of your credit together, getting your liquidity together, make sure you have your your debt paid down, make sure you have an emergency savings account. All of those things need to be in line because I'm telling you guys, the credit crunch is happening. We still have a lot further to go when it comes to this banking issue, this banking crisis. You know, Deutsche Bank is probably looking pretty bad and rough right now, whatever they're doing. I know that's a, a, a European bank, but you have to guys remember, this is a global economy that we're working in. So if something like a huge bank like Deutsche Bank, which would be equivalent to our Chase, gets closed, down or shut down or bailed out, however you want to look at it, it's going to affect. The printing of, of money is going to happen and it will affect us. And we still have a lot of things to do with First Republic and all this other stuff. We have a lot more banking issues to solve. And when that happens, when all of that stuff comes to a head, there will be a credit crunch. The money will be hard to come by. You will not be able to do what you did two years ago or a year ago when you got your pre-approvement letter and you said, you know, oh wow, this looks great. And you go back to them and you ask them to renew that. They're gonna say no, especially if you don't have your things together. <laughs> And I don't want you to miss out on an opportunity in your local market because you weren't prepared. And you have to be prepared. You can watch these videos all day. You can try to say, oh yeah, time the market, all this other stuff. You can do whatever. But if you aren't prepared, you will not be able to get the house that you are looking for. There's no point of you sitting here waiting to get into an affordable house and not have your stuff together to get the affordable house. That is really my my biggest thing. I'm and I know, you know, when that last shoe drops, I don't want a lot of my subscribers and a lot of people who watch me to go, I missed out on that opportunity because I was not prepared. As always guys, remember Real estate is local, be prepared, and do not overpay. <laughs> Summer is coming, we're in this point where these, these homes will start coming up. Do not overpay. As always, you won't get all of your information from this one video. I need you to watch this video here. It will give you information on the housing market, the financial news, get into your first rental property. I promise you the information you will get from that one video will be gold. I will see you in the next one, thanks.